Hi, this is Bernie from Double Zebra Farms, and today we're going to talk about Abel Skeever, or Ebel Skeever. My gosh, that's a mouthful. So we bought two new cast iron pans, one a flat pan, which is this one right here, uh, flat little circle pancakes, and one an Abel Skeever pan, which is more deep circle pockets. So these, when you look online, are rather complicated to make, and I found if you had everything together, all at once, everything ready to go, that it was much easier to put these together. So what we did was we lightly brushed butter on the inside, sometimes it got more butter than other times. Once they were lightly brushed with butter, we poured batter into the holes, and then we let them set. Now, I used chopsticks to turn these, and originally, when I was doing them, I was trying to pick up the uh, the batter from from the back side, which you know you flip fan pancakes from the back side, right? And it was incredibly messy and hard to do. So when you're doing this, don't pick start picking them up from the outside. S like I used a chopstick, a wooden chopstick. Stick your chopstick into the dough near the edge, and then pull up, and that will actually hook the able skewer, and you'll be able to pull them up. And then I use the other chopstick just to keep them steady and to help flip them over into the pan. And when you see the messy bit there, I um, I turned it over wrong. These are one of the first ones that I made, and I kind of made a mess of it. But the pan is really well seasoned, so it all came off easy enough. So it was really easy to do as long as you have everything at your fingertips so that you can just grab everything you need right off the bat. Very easy, very fun. Once the Avil Skeever was all finished, I put them all on a plate and then I poked a hole in each of them with a chopstick and that told me whether they were cooked through or whether I needed to put them aside. From there I squeezed in some fresh double uh, separated Jersey cream with a little sugar added to the Jersey cream to make it sweet and there you see the Jersey cream coming out of the uh, top of the Abel Skeever. Oh my gosh, it was good. Anyway, I put them all on a plate, and once on a plate, I, du I dusted them with icing sugar, and uh, I didn't get enough icing sugar on there. I put another layer on and dusted it again, not nearly enough icing sugar, and that is Abel Skeever. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Now, in this picture, you can clearly see that um, all my rejects are behind the little tool that I used to put on the icing sugar. But, you know, first time making them, I'm happy with what I got. So thank you to everyone for watching, and uh, if you happen to hear a dog snoring in the background, my apologies. Seth is on the couch and she's snoring up a storm. Um, I hadn't planned to do all these pictures and do up this video today, but I thought, oh, why not? Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'll be sure to answer them when I can. And as soon as uh, we're ready to try the flat pan, we will certainly come back and do another round of pictures and uh, put up a video, because they are so much fun to use. So thank you again for watching.